Hey, this is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another review. Actually, one of two reviews for Will, previously known as Bill Bon Jovi. Very, very nice guy who's been on my channel for quite a while. He sent a request for reviews of two short films, and I figured I would actually do them separately instead of just in one video, just to make it easier. And thank you so much for that, Will. If anyone wants to send a request, it could be reviews, re-reviews, topics, reactions, whatever type of videos, you just send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now the first is a short film I had seen a long time ago and I knew of, Dirty Laundry, which is the Punisher short film starring Thomas Jane. You also have an appearance by Ron Perlman. It's 10 minutes long. And you know what? That 10 minutes is better than the entire Punisher War Zone with Ray Stevenson. That's just me, though. I mean, I really enjoy it. I know one of the big guys behind this, and the next one I'll talk about, either producing it or so forth, is Adi Shanker. Adi Shankar. I had to look this guy up. He was an executive producer on Dread with Carl Urban. He... He's running that Castlevania animated show that was on Netflix, which I never saw. And I appreciate what he was doing with this. It's the Punisher sequel I was never able to get because I like Thomas Jane's The Punisher. Yes, I would have liked more action. I can honestly say that. That's why Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher is my favorite Punisher film, because I did what I want. A badass vigilante killing a lot of motherfuckers in different ways. Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher. But Thomas Jane, I thought, did a really good job acting with the character. I thought the music, that almost felt like a spaghetti western type of music. I thought that was really effective. Uh, John Travolta was fine as the villain, but I... Th I th I do like a lot of the direction in the 2004 Punisher. I looked at it as a modern western. I, mean, I do wish it had more of that gusto that should be in a Punisher film. That's one of my few issues. But that's why I thought, okay, this is actually not a bad origin for the Punisher. Start off, baby steps. Now I want to see the full-blown Punisher with Thomas Jane. But that didn't work. Thomas Jane wanted to do it, but then the script he got was kind of lame. And if it was the script they used for Punisher Warzone, I don't blame Thomas Jane for saying no. Although I will admit there's a part of me that wonders if Thomas Jane himself was in Punisher Warzone. Part of me probably like, okay, as silly as some of the shit is, at least Thomas Jane's the Punisher and... The one thing I did to get Punisher Warzone is Punisher does kill a lot of people in that movie. A lot of times it's goofy with the CGI or blowing up a guy with a rocket launcher and then disappear in a puff of fucking smoke, but he does kill a lot of people. So sometimes when I look at sequels, I do wonder, like Speed 2 Cruise Control, would I hate that movie as much if you took the same film but it was Keanu Reeves instead of Jason Patrick. I don't know. What I hate, how silly Triple X State of the Union is, if you took the same film, but Vin Diesel was actually Triple X in it. And you did all the, the stuff in it. What I hate, Punisher Warzone, if it's the same movie. That's why a lot of times, you know, acting, casting can be very important. Massively important. At least for me. When I did a lead guy or lead character or an actor that fits the character and that could carry me through a lot of ridiculousness in the script if the lead works. That's just uh I just what I look one of the important things I look for in a movie is the lead. And Thomas Jane, I wish we would have had a Punisher film again with Thomas Jane as the star. I really truly do. I wish he was the star of the Netflix show. If Thomas Jane was the star of the Punisher show, I would have seen it already. Right now, John Berthold doesn't look bad. I just don't give a fuck about the show because number one, I've heard there's not as much action as you think it is. And John Berthold seems fine. It's just, 
I will still keep thinking I wish it was Thomas Jane. That's just how it is. Like, I think The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren is the best film, like the most fun film. Acting-wise, I would say Thomas Jane is the best acted Punisher. Although I think Dolph Lundgren did a good job, but... Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher is the most fun film for me to watch as a Punisher film. Uh, but again, best acted as a Punisher, I do think it's Thomas Jane. So it was cool to see him do it again. I mean, what can I say? It's 10 minutes long. It's Thomas Jane plays a character. You're not supposed to know who it is yet. Doing laundry. Um, I don't know if the Punisher would take this long to go into action. Because he hears... Uh, This pimp sees his pimp smacking his hose and his kid getting ready to beat up. I just don't know again if the Punisher would take this long to go into action. The Punisher seems like the guy who would immediately be the guilty must be punished. That's why, I, if, if it's within a film and it could explain why he's holding back, like maybe he's retired, has he retired for a while? Um, if so, how long has he been retired? can't be too long because he's doing laundry and one of them is the Punisher shirt with a bullet hole in it you find out at the end so there's that part of me that goes why is he taking so long to help these people out like he's, he, has, he waits until the woman's down the shit beat out of her and the kid he's gotten beaten up a little bit too so again is he assessing the situation is he take it as time to see the right moment is because I don't have any guns and I don't want to go in and get killed so I gotta I don't know again it'd be nice if this was a full movie of course but as 10 minutes as a scene I'm like okay yeah I have that question in my head but you know I'll go along with it Ron Perlman he plays the owner of the shop and even the wrong prompt does about how now he's in a wheelchair years ago he would go out and be in the same position Thomas Jane's character was in and he gives this dialogue about how you know no matter what you do things don't change no matter what you do if you take them out five more come out I did something about that triggers Thomas Jane Instead of the, just the you who he has, he's like, give me a bottle of Jack. And he goes in and he kicks ass. Now, yes, you have some stodgy CGI. I mean, it's a 10 minute short film. I'll go a bit easy on it. But I mean, the CGI isn't the best. Um, I do wish they would have maybe put the extra money into doing it all practical. Because everything I saw, you, there is some decent practical, to be fair. Or at least, I should say, if it's a fa it's not. The, like, he hits the guy in the head with the bottle. As some people would say, it's a great commercial for Jad Daniels. <laughs> Soter literally take, take it and make it a commercial for Jad Daniels. But, I mean, it's cool to see him, you know, he breaks arms, stabs people in the throat. Makes a guy shoot himself. Again, the, the CGI isn't the best. But I do like the moment where he takes the, the leader and he breaks like three parts of his body, breaks the bone like fucking chicken wing. <laughs> That's definitely like a ooh shit moment. And then Thomas Jane, you know the difference between justice and punishment. And he has the lighter, but he doesn't light him up. Waits for someone else to do it. And the hooker that was beaten up, she does it. And then he leaves. Hey, mister, you forgot your shirt. Keep it. Got a hole in it anyway. And he finds the Punisher shirt. Granted, that's another thing. I wish there was a detail like the Punisher shirt is like, wait. Well, it would be too, it would be clean, I guess. It got out of the laundry. <laughs> I would just say it looks too clean, but... Uh, yeah, he's doing laundry. It should be clean. Otherwise, it's shitty detergent you're using. <laughs> but, uh... 
I think the music they use is like from the Dark Knight or something. Well, at least it's in a better, you know, better movie in my opinion. Just the Dark Knight. I like Heath Ledger in the Dark Knight, but I'm sorry, I would rather watch this in the Dark Knight again. This is more, but I mean, bat. I'm, I'm more of a Punisher guy than a Batman guy. What can I say? And I'm more of a Tom. I like Trisha Bale, but not for Batman. I like him for Equilibrium or American Psycho. But anyway, I mean, for a short film, if you're like to take this as a concept, hey, we let's make a badass Punisher film like this. I wish this got the Deadpool treatment. You know how you had the Deadpool trailer, people, yeah, and then they made a movie. I wish they did that for this. Like it, it caused a bit of a, you know, talk among the internet. Sally, nothing came of it. I wish someone said, yeah, let's make a Punisher movie. Or, you know, the Netflix show, let's get Thomas Jane in there. But no, they didn't want to do that because Disney are assholes. But I enjoyed the segment. I enjoyed the short film. It was great to see Thomas Jane in it again. He has that great look, the tone in his voice that sort of sense of loss like this is a man who's lost some shit probably lost some shit here now but lost some shit and you tell he's a haunted man just from his look his demeanor and he has that great tone of voice uh, to me he was just a fantastic punisher and it was great to see him again sally will be the last time because this short film came out a long time ago and never, I mean, Disney, they own the fucking Marvel shit and, you know, they had the Punisher show for two seasons and they took them off because, like, we don't like Netflix with Disney Plus. Yeah, because you don't see a Punisher anything on Disney Plus. Fucking Disney. Mickey Mouse can suck my dick. But, Dirty Laundry, fun short film. Despite, you know, again, some of the CGI is not the best, and the part was like, well, why is he taking so long? And is he excess in the situation? I, I, I don't know, but it was cool to see Ronald Perlman in there. I know Ronald Perlman and Thomas Jane, they worked together on stuff like The Martian Chronicles, which I reviewed, which I didn't like that movie. That was lame. Like, this is better than that entire movie, you know, this 10 minutes. And like, if you were to say, hey, Matt, would you like to see more of a movie based on this type of stuff? Yes. Yes, I would. I would you know, if I were one of those executives with Cigar or whatever back in the day, I'd be, yes, let's make a movie of this. Again, just uh, maybe use a bit more practical, less CGI. But uh, yeah, this kind of badass tone and Punisher that's gritty and dark and... Vi this type of violence yep I want to see it get this guy Thomas Jane yeah get this guy to do it again um, so yeah I quite enjoy it I enjoy it a lot more than the next one which I'll talk about in a little bit and I don't know if I'll upload that maybe I'll upload this after that so you already know my thoughts or I don't know it depends we'll see how it goes uh, talk to you guys later bye bye